What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to take a look at how to get a Chevy Traverse open and started if the key fob dies. I'm going to be demonstrating this on a 2022 Chevy Traverse in this video, but it will be the same on a few different years. And this is only going to apply to the Traverses that have a push button start ignition. So in this scenario, the vehicle's locked and our key fob's dead. I've taken the battery out of this key fob to demonstrate. So the first thing we need to do is remove the emergency key that's in the bottom of our key fob. That's done by pressing this button on the side and then the emergency key will slide out like that. Now we're gonna use this emergency key to remove this cap on the driver's door. If we look underneath, we see this little slot right here. What we're gonna do is holding the emergency key this way with the, the blade on the right hand side of the whole thing. We're gonna put it in that slot and push straight up. And as we do that, we need to pull with this hand, we need to pull out on the door handle. Then we're gonna push straight up into that slot and kind of wiggle, and that's gonna get this cap loose. Now, if your cap's never been off, this can come off of there pretty tough. Um, the biggest issue is, especially if it's never been off, is if you need to make sure you're pushing up far enough before you try to get it off. And when this goes back on, we won't put it on, you won't put it on till the end, but when it goes back on, you'll pull the handle out and make sure you put the right side on first like this. Put this side on and then it'll snap on like that. So if you have any questions on that, let me know. But we'll set that cap to the side for a second. Now we're gonna take our emergency key and use it to unlock the driver's door. We'll put it in there and turn it to the right, actually the left or left or counterclockwise. And then once, once the vehicle's unlocked, it's a good idea to put the emergency key back in the fob just so we don't lose it. Now, as soon as we open the door, the alarm's gonna start going off. How we're gonna stop the alarm from going off is we need to start the vehicle. How we're gonna start the vehicle with the dead key fob is we need to place the key fob in what your owner's manual calls the transmitter pocket. And that's located in the center console we need to open the center console and then there's a little liner on the bottom that we need to pull out. And then we need to put the key fob in there and then we'll be able to start the vehicle as normal. I'm gonna show all this to you. I'm just gonna be going kind of quickly and the alarm's gonna be going off. Okay. So come in here, take this out, pull this liner out, put your fob in there like that and then start it as normal. So as you can, you might have heard there, it, uh, the alarm starts off kind of quiet. And if you don't get to it in about 10 seconds, it does get louder. Um, but that's it. That's how the fob needs to sit in there. And then you'll just need to change the battery in your fob uh, as soon as you can or replace it, whatever you need to do. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.